Hi everyone, it's Kate Taylor, Regional Educator for Gemma Lambert's The Nail Team. Today I'm going to be showing you an acrylic design that could be used very quickly and efficiently in salon. Um, it's ideal for new sets and backfills. I'm going to be using um, the Iridescent Multimix range. Um, it's called Autumn Sunset and some um, Glam and Glitz acrylic coloured powder called Auto Expose. The idea of acrylic design is um, to work thin and wet. Use your products wet and thin. It's just to create a layer of design work in between your structure. What I would ideally do would be to um, do a very thin layer of acrylic as my base and then I would sandwich the design in between that and my overall building structure. So I have applied a small bead of the um, Glam and Glitz acrylic powder and very quickly blended it back down onto itself. Whilst it's still wet, I've picked up a clear bead of NSI um, Totally Clear and um, just dipped it into the Autumn Sunset glitter and tapped into place. I'll leave this to set for a few minutes. Um, you don't want to create thickness or anything with your design work. It just needs to be super thin because you want to encapsulate it and you want to be able to build your apex and make sure that all your, all your glitter or all your design work is covered. Um, so you don't want to file through anything. So I'm applying a cuticle bead of um, crystal clear and blending it back onto itself. Obviously with it being a display tip, I just need to make sure everything is, is, um, is covered. But in, in salon, you'd, you'd be checking to make sure that your apex was correctly placed, etc. I'm just passing it right down to the um, free edge here, making sure it's all covered. I can still see some glitter exposed, so I've just added a small bit up there just to give it some coverage. That's the autumn sunset. It's a beautiful collection as well. And that's the Glam and Glitz Auto Expose, which is a really nice coral colour, but you can make it a bit autumn with adding um, some deeper coloured glitters. I'm just waiting for this display tip to set and harden, and then I will use my NSI uh, 150 grit file to file over, and also a white block just to take out any scratches before I um, go ahead and put some design in with my one move paints. All the products that I'm using today are available from The Nail Team. It's www.thenailteam.com. Just still not sat at the moment. Patience is needed when you're just doing one tip. Okay, so I'm going to give it a file. Make sure there's no imperfections in there. Nice and smooth. Make sure all the edges are, are free from any glitter sticking out. Once I'm happy with my filing, I'll be taking a white block and just gently buffing over. All this does is smooths the surface so the paint doesn't get stuck into the ridges. You want your, um, your brush to, to move nice and um, smoothly against that display tip. Try and stick it back on to my stirrer. Okay, so there's my white paint. We only need small amounts and this is a beautiful burgundy coloured paint. It's a bit blocked. I will be watering these down a little bit um, just to create a milky consistency with the paint so it's easier to do some swirls with. I'm using a Crystal Nails Barbara 2 brush. This is a detailing brush. It has a very fine hair on the end of the brush. Never ever cut that off because Barbara will get mad with you. She needs that long hair to work properly. So just gently on a 90 degrees angle, I'm using my white paint just to do some swirly motion, um, swirly lines going down the tip. Just get, rinse my brush off and zoom back in. I'm going to pick up some of the red as well and go in between the white, sort of overlapping in areas 
and I want it to be thicker in areas than other areas so I will press down harder with the brush so it's more visible but this is again remember a very quick simple salon design pick up some more paint make sure you're always cleaning your brush out after use because if the paint goes hard in it you will destroy your brush um, I've now got a dotting tool I'm going to be using the same paints the same color white and the burgundy and just very quickly applying some little dots um, in sections of the, of the swirls that I've just created not too many just quite delicately put into place I think it just makes the whole design pop out and if you do do a few um, lines that maybe the swirl didn't look correct on it you can hide it with your dots <laughs> once you're happy that your um, design is all is all done just leave your paint to dry for a few seconds and then you want to apply um, a nice top coat I'm using pivot nails a flexi top gloss I use this for everything it's my favorite just needs to go into the lamp for 60 seconds and again I'm using my NSI dual lamp which is an LED and a UV lamp just knocked it I'll pop it back in tidy my desk up and I'll show you the products auto expose and autumn sunset and these are my paints my crystal nails one move paints and that is the top coat and once it comes out the lamp I need to cleanse the sticky layer off the top with my NSI cleanser um, I will wait a few seconds for it to cool down once it's come out the lamp give it a wipe and you're away we can go I hope you can see how beautiful and sparkly that is ready for the autumn season thanks for watching if you do have any questions then please don't hesitate to get in touch thanks very much